Hello. For today's Library 101, we're going to discuss director versus board responsibilities. But this one, we're going to just discuss the director. This Library 101 is important because the line between what the director of a library is responsible for and what the board is responsible for is a very fine one. These two need to work together to make the library a place that everyone wants to go to, but they need to know what is their specific responsibility. This tutorial is broken into two parts, so we can look at exactly what the director of a library is responsible for and what the board is responsible for without being too confusing. Director responsibilities. Work closely with the board. The line between the responsibilities of the director and the board is blurred because the two need to work together on different things. The director should have the autonomy to make decisions on everyday things, but they still need to work directly with the board on larger items. These larger items could be project planning, advocacy, public relations, and so much more. Hiring staff. This is the job of the library director. The director knows what qualities the open positions require and should be trusted to hire and supervise all staff. If the organizational structure of the library needs to be revised, this should be worked on with the board. Though the board is responsible for the review and hiring or firing of the library director, it is the director's responsibility to review their staff and discipline or fire them should the need arise. The director needs to keep the board informed of any hiring or firing of staff, but it is ultimately their decision. Finances and the budget. The library director is to prepare the annual budget for the board. The director should supply facts and figures to aid in interpreting the library's financial needs in the coming year. The director is also responsible for preparing and presenting the monthly bills and statements for the board. Policy and bylaws. The library director is to develop and review bylaws in consultation with the board. Therefore, the two must work together in order to have bylaws that can be followed. The director will recommend and draft policies for board approval. It is the director's responsibility to implement the adopted policies and delegate the responsibilities of them as needed. More resources for further review. The best resource you have access to as a library director, is your library development specialist. If they don't know the answer, they can generally find it for you. The North Dakota Public Library Trustee Manual. The State Library has a Public Library Trustee Manual available on our website. This can be found under Publications and will help identify the trustee's roles. Web Junction has a Friends, Trustees, and Volunteers topic area. Web Junction has courses and webinars on this topic available for free. United for Libraries is the Association of Library Trustees, Advocates, Friends, and Foundations. It is a division of the American Library Association. They are available to help answer questions on trustee responsibility and director responsibility. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please email me at ndsltrain at nd.gov. If I can't answer your question, I'll get it to someone who can. Stay tuned for the Library 101 on Board Responsibilities.